Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we have some sloppy wet snow on the ground. So in this video we're going to talk about some of the benefits and effects snow has for your lawn, for your grass, for everything. We got some rain last night, about an inch of rain or so, and then snow on top of it. And so it is just slushy, wet, grossness. So we're going to try to get it off. We didn't get a lot of snow. It's supposed to be warm in the next few days, so it should all melt. But we're going to talk about the effects that snow has for everything. So let's get to it. So this is going to be kind of a shorter video. But you guys may be wondering why I'm shoveling this if it's going to be warmer. Well, tonight it's supposed to refreeze, so I don't want it to be really icy or have lots of bumps and be really rough because it will take a little while to melt all this because the tomorrow's high is supposed to be in the 30s, so it's not going to be real warm. But when we do get these snows, it acts like a blanket for your lawn. It helps to protect the new and existing growth from the extreme temperatures and the wind. While doing this, it also keeps the soil and the plants moist from the snow melting and then it snowing again and the repeat of that cycle. The fresh snow provides a good insulation to hold air and heat in. If it snows deep enough, it can prevent the ground from freezing deep down and damaging roots. But the heavy snow also may be a problem though because tree branches and other different objects, it can add a lot of weight to it, like power lines or plants or different things. So it could potentially hurt those items. The snow has also been called the poor farmer's fertilizer because it has trace elements of nitrogen in it. If you have lots of snow melting in the spring, you would have lots of nutrients going into the soil at once. Lightning also provides nitrogen when it rains. The air we breathe is about 78% of nitrogen. It is called N2, or atmospheric nitrogen. It is a very stable, inert molecule that the plants are unable to use, though. Usable nitrogen comes from the snow or thunderstorms. The national average per year is 12 pounds of nitrogen per acre, which isn't a lot, but is still a good source of nitrogen. This is a little background on the benefits. Hopefully you guys all learned something out of all this. I know I sure did. Click that subscribe, guys. Leave a comment if you want to. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one.